Hello class! Today we're going to be covering shapes with our pattern blocks. And I think I'm going to start by covering the yellow triangle. We have been learning that we can cover the same shape in more than one way. It's fun to experiment with different shapes. I have covered my design and I am now going to sort all of my shapes. Hmm. When I sort them, I look for shapes that are the same and I put them together. I'm going to put all of the green triangles right here, all of my trapezoids here, and my hexagon. So I had used three different types of shapes. How many triangles did I use? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. So right here I'm going to draw a triangle. How many triangles did I use? Four. How many trapezoids did I use? One, two, two trapezoids. And how many hexagons? One. I'm going to draw my hexagon as well. Did I use any other shapes? No, I didn't. Now this is my total, and total means how many shapes did I use all together? Well, I have four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I add four plus two plus one, I have seven. That is how many shapes I used for the yellow triangle. Do you think that I could try this another way? I could. Let's do another one. I'm going to buy to cover it another way. Hmm. I think this time I'm going to use my rhombus. I wonder how many I could put on here. Oh, I've already got four. Five, six, am I going to be able to use any more? No. I'm going to have to fill in the gaps with my little triangles. Hmm, this is going to be easy to sort, isn't it? When we sort, we take all of the shapes that are alike and put them together. I only have two piles because I only use two shapes. Well, let's count how many triangles we have. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put that on my chart. I used four triangles. Wow, how many, how many rhombus did I use? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I used six rhombus and I used four triangles. Well, did I use any other types of shapes? No. So I could say, hmm, for trapezoids, I used zero. And for hexagons, I used zero. What would my total be? How many shapes did I use in total? Six. I could just count six and then add on six seven, eight, nine, ten. Or I could count each one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four plus six is ten. Today I would like for you to cover design in lots of different ways. What if I use the hexagon right here on the bottom? I don't think I can fit another hexagon on there. I'm going to see if I can use all of the shapes in my design today. I have a triangle, a hexagon, a trapezoid, and a rhombus. Oh, I'm going to need one more little triangle. I am going to sort my shapes. I'm going to sort them by trapezoid by rhombus, by triangle, and by hexagon. So let's
let's put them into little piles. I have my pile of trapezoids, my cutesy pile of teeny tiny triangles, my pile of hexagons, and rhombus. Hmm. How many trapezoids do I have? Two. So I'm going to write down two here on my chart. How many rhombus do I have? One. How many triangles do I have? Two. And how many hexagons? One. Well, let's add these all together. I have two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six shapes. Today, I would like for you to play. Yes, I want you to play with shapes. How many different ways can you cover a design? Now, you might not have lots of designs to cover. Maybe you have to keep using the same one. Class today, I want you to have fun covering designs, sorting the shapes, and counting them. I want you to see how many shapes cover your design. When we did it once, our total was six. Another time our total was seven. Another time our total was 10. <gasps> what would be the fewest number of shapes that would cover your design? My fewest was six. What would be the most? Mine was 10. Could you use more shapes to cover your design? Thanks for playing with me today. Bye-bye.